Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, so I just wanted to do quickly five minutes of abs. Um, if you have a small weight, grab that. Um, otherwise you really don't need a weight. We can do all of this pretty simply. Um, <coughs> so first I want to do abs that take as little pressure out of the back as possible. So come on down to your mat or carpet or whatever you choose to do. Lie on your back. I like to call this the dead bug. You're gonna bring your knees up and you're gonna bring your arms up. And I want you to suck the stomach down to the back. So literally you feel like there is no way to get your fingers underneath your back. Um, don't worry about her, she loves licking the weights for some reason. Um, keep your legs nice and square, take your arms up, and you should already feel a tightening in your waist right here. And actually, when I started to do abs again after many years of not doing them, this is something that I would just hold for a while. And if that's where you're at, that's okay. As long as you're squeezing here and you're inhaling and exhaling normally, this is a great place to start. Otherwise, Take your arms up and we're gonna take the left arm back, the right leg down. And then the other side, right arm up, left leg. And we're just gonna do this. Really easy. If you feel any strain in your lower back, make it a much smaller movement. So maybe only come to here. If you don't, then take a nice big movement. But again, you should feel your stomach pressing down into the back of the mat. Got my arms confused there. And just keep this going. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And this is a really great exercise to just, if you're super, super beginner with crunches, this is a great way to really start feeling your core become engaged. Um, like I said, you can do this for a long time. You can do it for, you know, do it for one minute and then stop and then do it six times a day. But as long as you're squeezing here and you're pushing your back down, this should not feel like much of anything on your back. And now let's just do four more. One, one, two, two, Three, three, four, four. Fantastic. And now take your legs and just roll a couple of times to come up to sit. And that's also a really nice release for your back. And now come on to all fours, lower yourself down. Come up to your knees here. And maybe you start, we're gonna do planks. Um, and maybe you're right here. Maybe this is your plank. You're sucking in your stomach, sucking your stomach back to your spine. The butt's coming front, squeezing, and you're holding right here. Or maybe if you wanna come up to a full plank, you're right here. And we're just gonna hold this. I'll come look at you guys gonna hold this for a minute. I actually got my clock right in front of me. Again, make sure you're really, really squeezing that stomach to the spine. You can rock back and forth. That sometimes helps take some of the pain away. And we're only gonna do this one for 30 seconds, but we are gonna do another one. So it'll be a minute total. Um, but planks are really the most exceptional way to really engage those abs. This is fun. And we're almost there, 10 more seconds. So that went by super fast. But you should definitely feel this. And two, and one. Release the knees down. Relax the back in the child pose. Exhale, maybe come forward. Uh, release the belly. Uh, that feels good. Okay, now. Coming back to your mat, we're gonna start right here, feet on the ground. We're gonna do twists. Um, I like to use a weight. 
You don't have to use a weight. But basically the movement is we're coming back maybe say four to four to four inches. Let's just do four inches. Let's start really super simple. And we're bringing it to the left and to the right and to the left and to the right. And this really, since you want to go easy on your back, let's just go nice and slow. Holding that posture and making sure that you're not hurting yourself or gripping somewhere is really important in your overall body health. It's tough getting old. Um, I feel it in my body. So, you know what? It's really lovely to just be nice. Be nice to your body. You're still gonna get strong, trust me. Your abs will feel really good. And I think if we do five minutes every day together, we're all gonna have six back by the end of the quarantine. So I think that feels good. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that up. That feels nice. Come back, lay it all the way down. Bring your right knee in and just release it. Bring your left knee in and just release it. Now bring your knees up. Tuck the stomach down to the spine. So there's literally almost like a space here. Okay, so you really feel lifted. You're pressing into your heels. Arms behind your head. 30 seconds of just regular crunches. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Really holding this tight. 17, feeling it right across here. 18, 19, squeezing that rib cage in. And 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five more. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Great job. Release it out. Nice inhale, uh, exhale, shake out your head and bring your knees in, rock yourself up. Uh, feels so good on the back. And come on up. Take your arms behind you. Actually, if you want, I mean, if it's, if you want to go really, really easy, really take them back so they're super, super open. Ideally, we want to get to a place where our chest is lifted high and we're basically on our toes. We're sucking the stomach down and in so the pelvis is actually tilted up. So we're not like this. We're actually still tilting the pelvis while we're lifting our chest. We're just going to lift one leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And your feet can be flexed. Whatever. I know. I go to point. It's just what I do. I was a dancer for way too long. Okay, and now slowly come up a little bit more. Engage in that stomach. So you should feel it a little bit more in your stomach here. And you might start feeling it in your legs. That's okay. Come up a little bit further, maybe let go. Now I can feel it just nice and strong right here. All solid. So maybe your kicks aren't as big. I'm just gonna go a little. It doesn't matter. The only thing that we're doing is we're holding, we're engaging the entire wrap of the stomach muscles, which goes all the way around. Come up. And release the legs open, fall forward if you want to. And one last, my absolute favorite, bicycles. 
Bicycles can get go slow, they can go fast, they can do whatever. The great thing about bicycles is you get good at them really quickly. So if you start nice and slow and you've got the right movement of the body, you're not hurting your back. This is something that you can get good at and do a bunch of. So let's do 30, because we've got 30 more seconds left, and then we're done. Start here. Let's just start nice and slow. So again, make sure that you're not releasing your legs so far so your back is popping up. Keep it nice and tucked under. Really bring that left elbow, I'm sorry, right elbow to the left knee. And of course, Daisy's right there. So I can't lower my leg too low. She's, she's in the perfect place. Mm. And this is just such a great way to really engage the side of the muscles. Oh, it's so good. And like I said, these are really something that can quickly become a staple that you do every day because it engages the side of your muscles, it engages the front of your muscles, protects the back. It's really wonderful. And let's do 10 more. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And rock yourself up. Whoops. Ah, that was nice. It's a nice stomach stretch. Maybe you just come on to your hands and knees and just oh, put yourself up like this. That feels good. Or you can even just do some cat cows. Oh, releasing the stomach, releasing the back, releasing the stomach. Releasing the back. Mm. Good. Thank you. There you go. Five minutes of abs. Done. Go about your day. Bye.